going on guys, Aaron Chen here. If you're watching this video right now, you're probably doing some research on how to make more money on ClickBank. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. See you soon. Hey, welcome back. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I'm always coming out with content that will teach you how to become more wealthy using the internet. So consider subscribing to this channel at any time. I come up with uh, videos every single week, okay? And if you'd like to learn my six-figure affiliate marketing strategy, and ClickBank is, is essentially uh, affiliate marketing, you can click on the link right below. You don't have to wait till the end of this video. Now, in this video, let's talk a little bit about ClickBank, all right? Now, a lot of people don't really understand how to use ClickBank to make money. They've just heard of ClickBank. Now, understand that ClickBank is one of the biggest marketplaces in the world and in this video I'll give you a little bit more detail I'll go through the website I'll show you the strategy on my little whiteboard and I'll teach you exactly how to build out your ClickBank business so that you can be successful okay so all you really need to do is go to clickbank.com it's very simple um, you create an account I'm not going to show you how to do that because this is pretty basic stuff right you click on create account you you add all your information in ClickBank generally covers about 200 countries around the world there might be some countries that don't cover clickbank unfortunately but if that's the case for you there are a lot of other affiliate marketplaces guys it's not just about clickbank okay there's jvzoo there's warrior plus um, you can just go to google and type out what are the big affiliate marketing marketplaces in the world and you'll you'll get a huge list in fact let's do that right now right so i'm going to go to google um, big affiliate marketplaces and you know Google is a very powerful tool and I'm gonna you know teach you a few strategies right now so you can see here look Amazon Associates share a sales CJ affiliate um, a win Rakuten clickban flex offers um, uh, Avant gate I mean there's so many different places but now we're talking about Clickbank okay so all you do is you just come into Clickbank you click on affiliate marketplace okay and then inside of Clickbank affiliate marketplace the great thing about Clickbank is that what they do is, is they sell digital educational products. So any sort of educational product in any of these industries, as you can see here, right? So for example, betting systems or computers, cooking food and wine, e-business, education, fiction, games, health and fitness. So let's check out the health and fitness one, right? So I'm gonna go into health and fitness and I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here so you can see this. And look, you can, you can range this by popularity, by the average sale, by the average um, gravity. All that gravity means is the higher the gravity, the more the product sells. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a good product, okay? So you have to be careful. It just means that there's more of that product being sold than any of the other products. It doesn't mean it's a good quality product. So you want to have a balance between gravity and the quality of, of, of the product, okay? And we'll talk about that later. So I like to look at pop popularity, and then you can just kind of go down and have a look at what, what the different offers are. And you can see, look, so so some of them focus on diabetes, some of them focus on, you know, Cinderella solution is specifically for women that wanna lose weight. There's uh, another one, healthy diabetes. So, you know, if you wanna focus on the diabetes industry, that's a great industry to focus on, right? But understand that if you wanna focus on diabetes, and, and, and let's, let's do this as an example, you have to make sure that you hone in just on that industry. You don't wanna to go too broad. And that's just that's the problem that a lot of people make, right? They go very, very broad. So um, if I wanted to promote this particular product, first of all, here's what I would do, right? I would do a lot of research on this product first. So so let me, let me just um, uh, show you how to do this, okay? So step number one, um, Go to click, uh, go to click, okay, okay, okay. You, you already know that you have to go to ClickBank, right? So find product on ClickBank, do research on the product, okay? Do research on the product, okay? That's super important because you wanna be able to sell good quality products. If the quality of the product is not good quality, then you're selling crap to people and you're gonna get a very bad reputation online, all right? So that's really, really important. So how do you do research on, uh, let's just say healthy diabetes. So let, first of all, let's let's have a look at the, the sales page, right? So I'm gonna click promote. I'm gonna put in my account nickname here. I'm gonna generate what's called a hop link, okay? And then on the bottom here, you can see a hop link. I'm gonna copy it. Okay, then I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna open up um, you know, the same tab. I'm gonna paste that tab. This is my actual ClickBank promotional link. It's unique to you, it's unique to me, okay? And this is the exact sales page. That means if somebody watches this sales page, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute this out in a second, right? 
So I've got to click it to, to watch it. So let's just imagine somebody's watching it. And usually all ClickBank websites kind of look like this. There's a title on top. Um, you know, it says, wait, you know, uh, you know, don't don't leave right now. Blah, 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 blah. Let me see if I can get rid of this. Oh, I don't know. Keep watching the video. Um, and then what will happen eventually is after I watch this video, there will be a buy button that pops up here. Okay. Now, when people click on that buy button and they buy from your checkout page, you make a commission from ClickBank. That's how it works. It's very, very simple. All right. Now, that's not the difficult part about ClickBank, right? A lot of people, that's what they teach you. They say, okay, that's all you do. You just find a good offer and then you just sell it and then people are gonna buy. But unfortunately, people don't buy like that anymore. So first of all, you need to look at the sales page and you need to research the product. Is the Does the product look good, okay? Let, let, let's read what this is. She was 30 minutes from a fatal diabetic coma until I discovered the simple 60 second habit that reversed my wife's two type 2 diabetes and melted 60, 56 pounds of fat. That's not bad, right? So the claim there is not super ridiculous. It's realistic. Um, 67 habit, which means that she's probably doing it on a daily basis, right? So it sounds realistic, right? Now, I would watch the product and you know what I would even do? I would even buy the product, okay? So there are a couple of things that you can do during the research phase, right? So you can buy the product um, or you can uh, go to Google, 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 Google it. Okay, research it, right? I like to buy the products. You might be like, well, Aaron, I don't wanna spend 20 or $30 on the product, but honestly, if you think about it, right? If you're, if you're creating a real business, okay? $20 is very little money to make $10,000. Does that make sense, right? So you have to understand that if you're serious about online business, then you have to be serious about investing a little bit of money and time on your business, otherwise you're never really gonna grow your business. I hope that makes sense, okay? So I would buy the product, or I would Google it, or I would buy the product, if it's a great product, keep it, right? Learn all about that 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 diabetes industry, or that weight loss industry, or you know the lead gen industry, or the real estate in industry that you're in, okay? Um, and then keep the product. If, if it's a bad product, then just refund, because um, ClickBank's ha ClickBank has a 60-day refund policy anyway, okay? Now, I'm not saying become a serial refunder, you don't wanna do that, okay? Please don't be a serial refunder. I hate people who are serial refunders. That's a really, really bad way to do business. But if you're reviewing the product and it's really horrible, then don't use it. Another way that you can do, do this is you can go back to the product, the marketplace, Halki Diabetes. You can email them. You see how it says affiliate support, right? So just go ahead and email them and say, hey, can I get a copy of your product just to review? right? I want to see if the product quality is good. And if you have any other questions about that particular particular product, email their affiliate because they will always leave you affiliate information there, right? Because you want to find out what the product is really about. If it's a bad product, do not promote it. If it's a good product, promote it. Now, let me explain what a good product looks like and what a bad product looks like, okay? So let's go back here, right? So once you researched it, once you found out, okay, it looks okay, let's talk about what a good product looks like. So first of all, um, is a, a good quality product, okay? So here's, here, here's, here are the ways that you know whether a product is good or not. Number one, is the training good? That means are the modules actually good? Are they video modules? Or is it just like a 10 page PDF report, right? Will this actually change your customer's life? Will it give them transformational results? Or is it just some dinky little crappy product that's gonna make you like 15 bucks, but it's not gonna help your audience? If that's the case, then you don't wanna sell those kind of products. You wanna sell good, deep, transformational products, right? That's why you need to do your research. That's why you need to go through the products, right? That's why you can email the affiliate contact information, which I showed you how to do in a second, and you can find out all that information. The next thing that you wanna find out is how deep is the funnel? Is the sales funnel, okay? Um, so th what, what does that mean? You might be like, Aaron, what, what, what does that mean? How deep is the sales funnel? Well, look, this product right here, right? Let me, where is it? Let me go back to it, okay? When somebody buys this product, this product might be, you know, let's just say it's $20, right? And if it's a 50% commission, you might only make $10. Now, ask yourself this question. If you were only making $10 every time you sold Halki Diabetes, right? How much, how many Halki Diabetes products do you have to sell to make $10,000? Well, 10,000 divided by a $10 profit 
is $1,000. Can you see that? So 1,000 units. That means you have to sell 1,000 units every month of Halki Diabetes to make a lot of money. Now that's very, very hard, okay? That's why it's much, much more important to find out whether there are upsells and good upsells in the process. Now, what do I mean by that, okay? So that means that when somebody buys the Halki Diabetes product, is there another upsell inside the sales process that allows your customers to upsell and buy a more expensive and more valuable product for diabetes, okay? So here's what it should look like. Let's just say the front end offer is $30, right? After they buy the $30 product, is there another offer? Is there something that they can buy for maybe $200? And then after that, is there something that they can buy for $500? And then after that, is there something that they can buy for $1,000, right? Now, this doesn't mean that every single customer is gonna buy every single upsell. This is called an upsell process, okay? Upsell process. Now, here's a few things about an upsell process. First of all, the upsell process has to be good. That means the, the, the products that they're offering. So that means this $200 product that they're offering, make sure it's a good product. If it's a crappy product, again, you don't want to sell this ClickBank product because you're wasting people's time, right? Also, same goes for the next $500 product. Is it a good product? Is it like, you know, is it gonna add more value for diabetes for your particular audience member. In this example, we're talking about diabetes, okay? So this is just an example. You can use this for anything. Dog training, Facebook lead marketing, uh, MLM, uh, affiliate marketing, uh, woodworking, uh, learning how to play the piano. I mean, there's so many different niche topics that you can think about, and we'll talk about that in a second as well, right? But look, is the upsell process good? right? How do you find that out? You email the affiliate. So again, over here, all I do is I come back to the marketplace. I go here, I contact the affiliate and I send them this. I ask them questions. I say, hey, hey listen, first of all, can I have a sample of your product? Second of all, can you tell me what the upsell process is and show me the pages and the products that you're upselling? And do I get a commission from that? Because I only want to sell good products. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, Aaron, this seems like a lot of work, but understand guys, this is your business, it's a real business, you gotta do the research. If you're selling crap, you're not gonna make any money, okay? But if you're selling good products, there's a good upsell process, you're making commissions on that, you will make more money um, than if you just sell junk online, okay? Now, there's a lot of other reasons why you want a good upsell process, okay? This increases, increases the total, uh, what we call um, uh, lifetime customer value. Okay, LCV, lifetime customer value. That means that every single customer that buys this $30 product, you have a chance of making more money than just $30 because some people will buy the $200 product too. Some people will also buy the $500 product too. Some people might buy all four products. Now, if they buy all four products, how much money would you make? Let's do the math. 1,000 plus 500 plus 200 plus 30 dollars is $1,730 potential per customer. That doesn't mean that every customer will buy everything, but it just means that it increases your average lifetime customer value. That's how you get into profit in affiliate marketing. Does that make sense, right? If you're only selling $30 products, you're gonna have to sell thousands and thousands of units of those products every month, and it's very, very difficult to do that, okay? Now, here's another thing that I wanna teach you how to do, okay? That, that's very, very important. Number three, all right, is, okay, so find a quality product, do the research, make sure that the training is good, the quality of the product is good, and the sales funnel has a nice upsell process. You already know, you know how to do that, right? And then the next thing that you wanna do, um, one second here, is to actually, um, make sure that your entire sales funnel is built around only one niche. That's very important. That means focus is very important. Focus, focus your niche, okay? So that means that if you're selling diabetes, for example, right? Diabetes, I, I, I can't even spell. How do you spell diabetes? Diabetes. <laughs> I can't spell diabetes. Anyway, uh, let's see if I can get some help here. There we go, all right. So focus on just diabetes. You don't wanna focus on the general health niche, okay? So that means that when you build out your little sales funnel, okay? Um, and I'll talk about that in a minute. I know this video is going quite long now, it's like 14 minutes long, um, but this is good stuff, right? So 
If you're selling a diabetes product from ClickBank, your sales funnel should just talk about diabetes. That means you don't wanna talk about anything else. You don't wanna talk about six pack abs. You don't wanna talk about women's weight loss. You don't wanna talk about losing weight for to get into a wedding dress. You don't wanna talk about men getting jacked even though that's all based on health. You only want to talk about diabetes because this is what's called a sub niche, okay? And the more narrow you can go, the smaller the group of people that you can talk to, the more money that you're gonna make. I know that sounds counterintuitive, right? But the thing is, is if you throw as much shit on the wall as possible, nothing is actually gonna stick. Does that make sense? Because you're not talking to anybody. You only want to talk to people that are suffering from diabetes, okay? Are you having some aha moments right now? Let me know in the comments below if you're having some aha moments right now because this is how you really get good at ClickBank, okay? This is how you get you this is how you make money. You have to do the right research. You have to sell the right products. You have to make sure the sales funnel is good. You have to make sure the the training and the product is good. You have to make sure that there's a really really good upsell process so that you can make more commissions per sale per customer and you have to make sure that you focus just on one niche, okay? And then lastly, before we wrap this video up, right, you have to build out a small sales process, okay? Now, what is a sales process? All that is is you capture somebody's email address. So this is how it works, okay? Let, let me let me let me build this out for you, right? So you capture, so you cap capture capture email, capture guru, capture email. And then what you do is do not send them straight to the sales page. A lot of people will send them straight to that sales page that I showed you just now um, over here, right? They'll send them straight here. You don't wanna do that, okay? If you do that, you're gonna lose a lot of money because people don't buy like that online anymore. And you don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is you want to build out, you wanna send them to your sales machine, your sales, your sales process, okay? And all your sales process is, is uh, four simple pages that teach people about diabetes or the topic that you're trying to teach on, right? So let's just say it's weight loss or six pack abs or learning how to play the piano. You send them to four simple pages that teach people about that exact topic, okay? And all you have to do is learn about that topic and you can record your face, you can record your screen, you can do it however you want. You can hire somebody else, you can do a PowerPoint slide video, you can hire someone on fiverr.com to do it for you. It's really, really si simple actually, you know, don't overcomplicate this process. But the idea here is you need to teach, you need to coach, you need to train for free, okay? Don't expect someone to buy something from you without giving value first. Okay, this is called indirect marketing, right? Let me write that down. Indirect marketing. So you're not sending, sending them straight to a sales page, you're sending them to your own content first, you add value, and then after that, you send them to the sales page. And that's how you make a lot of money on ClickBank, okay? So a lot of people don't talk about this stuff. I hope, I hope that you guys can see this. Let me zoom, uh, make this just a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay, this is how, this is the formula to doing really, really well on ClickBank, okay? So I know this has run a little bit long, but I'd like to know what you thought of this video, okay? Did you get some value from this video? Let me know in the comment section below. Have you been trying this or have you been sending people straight to the sales page? Um, have you heard of indirect marketing before? Do you, do you understand that you need to have an upsell process, right? You need to have a good quality product. The, the training must be good, guys, right? And did you also know that you need to focus on your niche? Don't be broad, be narrow. Be as narrow as you can, right? The narrower you can go, the more money that you can make. So I'd like to know in the comment section below what you thought of this video. If you got some value from this video, I would really, really appreciate some thumbs ups, okay? And then if you're like, Aaron, well, this makes sense and I love it, I love all this information, but how do I do this part? How do I, you know, do everything here that you've spoken about in like detail? Because this video has been running for 20 minutes. Uh, you know, I need a lot more than 20 minutes to be able to show you how to do all this stuff, okay? I need a, at least hours to do this, right? So I've got a free training if you would like to learn how to build out your own um, ClickBank 
money-making machine, a sales process that will show you how to capture people's emails, build out these uh, simple pages, do indirect marketing properly, how to not rely on you know marketing systems and all that bull crap, and actually learn how to be profitable on ClickBank or just selling digital educational products in general. I would love to teach you how to do that. All you have to do is click on the link right below this video. I've got a, uh, a free training that will show you how to do this. Make sure you enter your email address on the next page. Check your spam folder, okay? Because email always goes into spam. I don't know why. It's just the way that email marketing works. Check, check your spam and promotional folders. And I hope that you enjoy this training today. And I hope you enjoy uh, the training once you get to the next page. Hope to speak to you soon. Take care and all the best.